Hello and welcome to what's well, Fortnite. No, that's not. Well, Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to E3 2016. Okay. We're not actually there, but we're going to talk about it anyway. I wish I was so, there. I wish I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish I was there as well. <laughs> got that out. Got that out. Oh. All right. So basically. Quite, quite a bit, quite a bit has happened at E3 this year. Um, uh, we've a had a lot of mixed responses on uh, different sides, but you know we'll give our responses. And should we start off with your favourite game at the show? It's definitely going to be Zelda. Zelda. What's the title? The Zelda Legend of the Zelda something. Breath of the Wind. Breathe, yeah, Breath of the Wind or something like that. Of wild, Breath of the wild, wild, Breath of the wild. Okay. Breath of the wild. There one, you go. One second, then we've already messed up. So, do you want to give your thoughts on the game first? You know, your channel, your favorite right. game. Re um, I think this is one of my favorite game E3 this year because it absolutely looks fantastic. Simply put it, like I love its setting. Um, I love the open world where you can go anywhere and yeah, yeah. open world does sound good. And like the movements as well honestly it just looks entirely as well as you good you like the uh, music in the trailer didn't the you? music was ab was spot on absolutely like brilliant absolute 10 yeah, out of 10 if, if the music in games anything like that it should be good and uh, hopefully they do some sort of thing where you can get a collector's edition with a soundtrack like yeah I've got one of um it's not a proper collector's edition but for Skyward Sword it they just sort of gave the soundtrack, just a CD with it as well. So if they do something similar to that, then that would be cool. Yeah. Personally, I think it looked it looked good, the game. Didn't blow me away like you, but it looked fun. I, I'm still not certain if I'm going to get it. But it had some cool things like the Amiibo as well. Yeah. Was that everything you want to say about Zelda? You. Which I, is I, not... Zelda you anymore. It's gonna take me a while to get used to <laughs> I think that's re what I've always got to say. It's an absolute good game. I'm really excited for this game and all that. Is, is it gonna be worth waiting this film? Yes, it's gonna be worth waiting. Well, alright, we'll move on to my favourite game which was Mafia 3. Uh, if you don't know Mafia 3, it's a sequel to Mafia 2, which was a sequel to Mafia. And it's sort of a bit like GTA, that sort of game. Not exactly, but that sort of thing. It's going to be a game about the Mafia. I believe it's set in 1968, which yeah. interests me. It makes sense uh, because it's about the Mafia. I can't remember where it's set. I think New Orleans, something like that. Or some, some place in America. And they had a whole... 50 minute thing a 50 minute thing with IGN where they showed off the game and whilst every other time a game was shown off for a long time I got annoyed but with Mafia 3 I thought it was worth it because they were showing off lots of different features and I'm just really excited for the game because you know, Grand Theft Auto 5 just disappointed me I know I know that's an unpopular opinion oh dear. Oh, but it, it disappointed me, so hopefully this is gonna make up for it, even though it's not the same developers, it's a similar sort of game, and I don't know when it comes out, but I'm gonna buy it. Okay. I'll be to play it. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to say anything about Mafia 3? I'm gonna say it looks interesting. I mean, I haven't really played, I think I have played M Mafia 2 once, but really, but... I want to see what this one turns out like, to be honest. I, I hope it gets as popular as Grand Theft Auto V. I know it won't, but... Because... That, that game got really popular. Everyone was playing it. Like, it was sold out in a lot of shops, which is a surprise for a... You know, a mainstream game to be sold out. Because they usually produce loads of copies, but it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So should we just move on? Yeah, we'll move on. We'll move the on. future. Oh, gaming, VR, PlayStation Virtual Reality, everyone. PSVR is coming out October 
13th. We already knew it was going to be October. Now we know a specific day. And what is that? Is that a Monday, Tuesday? Mm. That is a Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Strange. Anyway, it's... <laughs> I, I'm Wish. really excited for this. I probably won't be able to get it at launch because I don't have any money at all. But oh. I will get it eventually. Because it does look really fun. I love my PlayStation 4. Even though I don't have many games for it. You know, I just... It, ha it, it is flawed, PlayStation. don't like the way it records games. But, you know, PSVR is going to be fun. I um. Even though I don't think VR is actually the future it it's it's fun i played it um i played the oculus twice twice and if everyone that uh says to vr you know oh it's it's not that good shut up play it yourself and then and then try and tell me it's not good okay all right um the they showed off uh a star wars battle fun free uh x-wing mission i mean that oh, looks yeah. good yeah, back, great. I was really disappointed actually that they didn't show it off at EA. Do you remember our message? Yeah. Like, oh, they should have showed more, and then they did at Sony's. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was great. It was, it was what I predicted it would be because, obviously, most uh, VR experiences so far are sitting down, and obviously you are going to be sitting down if you are in an X-wing. So I predicted that, and it, it's what I predicted and hoped it would be. Because yeah. that's my favourite bit of the uh, game, going in the X wings, and yeah, it should be fun. It's only going to be a mission, though. Look at the title. It's only going to be one level, which is a bit disappointing. But I'm sure I'm going to still play it multiple times and keep sort of taking different strategies. See, I guess you can't really do that many strategies, but I'm I'm going to try and play it as much as I can. Okay. They also had Batman Arkham VR, which is going to be, I don't know really, because from what I saw, from what we saw at the conference, they showed nothing at all. They showed, yeah. But, they uh, just the showed the people, a quick teaser. The people that tried it out at E3 are saying, you pretty much just put some clothes on or something. But to be honest, I'm sure the... Uh, final game. Oh, actually, no, they said you put some clothes on, find something about a mystery. I think there's going to be Batmobile or something in it. But yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the Arkham games are, pop are popular. Batman's not my favourite hero because he's DC. But, you know, Batman's one of the best of DC's heroes. And driving around in the Batmobile in VR would probably be quite fun. It would, actually, yeah. And um, they showed off some Final Fantasy virtual reality. Um, it, I think Final Fantasy looks like a fun game, but the VR mode looks, it looks a bit slightly bad. weird. It just looks because you can't. It's one of those annoying things that I don't know. A few people have accepted it as normal, where you just teleport around everywhere instead of walking. Yeah. Because they want it to be so you don't feel like you're walking in real life or something which I don't understand because I've played um, Monstrum which is a horror game where you walk around I played that on the Oculus it was fine just give me the joystick in my hand like it yeah. well not joystick but you know what I mean just give me yeah. a controller give me a goddamn I'll move, controller I'll push my thumb forward and I'll be walking I don't need to walk in real life <laughs> um, they showed off uh, Resident Evil. Yep. Uh, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard 7, which is going to be a non-VR game, but you can play the whole game with PSVR. It got me really excited. It looked really good. Played the demo. It's not that good. <laughs> but hopefully the full game will be good. I've still got my hopes up. Yeah. What about you? I think, um, even though I don't um, I think mm, I, I may have my hopes up for this one. Yeah, because I, I haven't been a big fan of the other Resident Evil games. Definitely not a fan of the films. <laughs> this one actually 
you know, actually, actually looks good because it's a proper horror game for once, which is good. Yeah. But what isn't a horror game? Hatsune Miku, which has been confirmed to be a proper, fully released game. Well, not fully. It's more of a short, ex short experience. It was shown off, I believe, Tokyo Game Show as a sort of trail game for PSVR, and it's confirmed to be releasing in Japan, like properly releasing on the PlayStation Shop. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, yeah. And I really hope it comes to the West. I really hope we get or it. Or the UK. Because it shouldn't... It shouldn't need translating, should it? I don't know. Because they don't bother with the Hatsune Miku um, rhythm games. They don't put subtitles for the music or anything. So just release it. You don't need to do any work to it. Mm -hmm. So whoever's in charge of that, if you're listening, just chuck us it. Uh, but what would need translating is Summer Lesson, which, if you don't know, it was also shown off Tokyo Game Show, and it is a girlfriend simulator. You just sort of talk to a girl for yeah. 15 minutes. And uh, I don't know how I feel about this game. Uh, I think if it was free, I might get it just to see what it was about but I don't think I'm going to be paying money for it <laughs> also I don't see how I it's going to work for western audiences because like virtual reality if you've got subtitles there it's really going to take you out of the whole reality of it which wouldn't work and 99% of English dubs are awful <laughs> so, uh, yeah. maybe maybe if that one doesn't release here, I won't. I won't feel like I'm missing out. Yeah. What was shown off at Ubisoft? Uh, Ubisoft. Uh, okay. Or Ubisoft, if you. Ubisoft. Call them that. Um, they showed off a Just Dance, uh, 2015. No. Oh, what? For VR. Oh, VR. Summer <laughs> lesson. Um, wait. No, next one. Oh, Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek VR. And to be honest, you know, we're, we're Star Wars fans, not Star Trek fans. But it does look... Like I mean, I'm be seeing Star fun. Trek Beyond, so... It, it could be fun. And could um, could not. maybe if it sells well next year, they'll be making Star Wars VR. <laughs> well, they are, but something... Something more than next wing. Yeah. And I, I liked how they got... um different members of the cast from different generations which was it was nice to see them doing that but, um it, it should be a fun game but i'm not super excited because i'm not a star trek fan as well they had eagle flight which i saw a trailer for it and i thought that looks good and now they've shown it off proper gameplay demonstration and it doesn't look good it like it's some some game where you you, you play like football or soccer with yeah. uh with eagles and then the graphics look like a old mobile game or a uh snes 3d game yeah um, it's just yeah um. I'm, I'm not too into that what about you Mm, I mean, I don't know, to be honest, probably not. But it's not super hot. What is super hot is super hot coming to VR. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Super hot, if you don't know, it's a game, I believe it's indie, that um, came to PC this year, quite recently actually. And they announced it's going to be on VR, so I'm guessing that will be HTC Vive and Oculus. Which um, Oculus is dying, by the way. And the the point of the game is you you freeze time, sort of, and then it's a shooting game, first person shooter, and time freezes. But when you move, time isn't frozen. So if you, you can sort of look around for where to go, but as soon as you move, time is moving again, which. Yeah. 
to be honest, it's it's a cool concept. Seeing it in VR would be, you know, crazy. It would really mess with your head, and that's a good thing, I think. What about you? Do you think it's gonna be all right? It's going to be okay, to be honest. With the... yeah, we we'll probably won't buy it, but it's it's a cool concept. Um. This wasn't shown at Sony, but this was shown at Bethesda, the Fallout 4... Well, yeah, but not, uh, oh. The other things we said weren't showing off <laughs> in Sony's, so... Uh, anyway, continue. So basically, these these two games were shown at Bethesda as yep. VR games. Uh, Fallout 4... Both for HTC Vive. And Doom. Um, which I Fallout 4 and Doom. I would like to see what these both games are like in virtual reality. I think mostly Fallout 4 but... Fallout 4, even though I like the Doom series more I feel like Fallout is one like a perfect game for VR as much as I like uh, you know, as much as I'm gonna love the Hatsune Miku game if it comes to the West I also think you know, a game like Fallout would be really fun to sort of put you into the world and all that Alright, uh, yeah and Doom, uh, yes. what they showed off at the uh, convention center was just sort of a shooting gallery. So I don't know what Doom VR is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be that, or if it's going to be like the normal game. Where you'd be running and shooting like mutants like and stuff. With HTC Vive, the sort of point of that is you are moving around. So there's no way they're gonna get that working with HDC Vive. There's no way they're gonna get you running around the room. Like how big is your room gonna be? You'll have to go into some sort of cave if you're if you wanna get that working. Yeah. Or uh, just, you know, give a controller. Yeah. So should we move on to Nintendo? Nint Nintendo, yeah. Whose what? presentation sucks. <laughs> what right. I'm going to say this, their presentation was probably just like the presentation last year. They had one game they showed off first, which everyone was hyped for. Last year was Star Fox, this year it's Zelda. And then everything else is like a hit and miss. Like, it could be good, right, to be honest, it could be bad. It, it wasn't just the games. It, I'm not blaming the games. There is some stuff that looks fun yeah. on this list. But it's just the way they did it. They decided to just not do a conference. To be a, a conference would have been done life. better because they could have had some really yeah. cool surprises. It was boring. It was just boring to watch. E even last year, they didn't have that many interesting things, but at least they presented it as a conference. Well, not a conference, but more like the Nintendo Direct. Yeah. And it was interesting to watch, whereas uh, six hours of Zelda, however long they did it, mm -hmm. I don't care. Even if it's six hours of. My favourite game in the world. Put it six hours of Mother I don't 3. Care. It's, it's six hours. <laughs> six hours of Mother 3, please. Yeah, uh, they also had. Uh, yeah, they had Pokemon Go, which. It didn't. Yeah, it interests it does interest it, me a little bit. Yeah. It didn't interest me that much, but it did look something that yeah. maybe a it, bunch of people could be interested in. It's, it's going to be fun, I believe. Um. I think it's not going to be that popular. It's going to be popular at the start. People are going to forget about it, like me, me, Tomo. Yeah. But I believe it's going to be quite popular at conventions. Uh, like you'll see people going walking around next E3, or they said it's maybe coming out July. So maybe Hyper Japan people will be catching Pokemon if they can get it out by that time. Maybe yeah. EGX trying to going at EGX catching. Ratatas or whatever. Yeah. With there was also Pokemon Sun and Moon stuff. Like, uh, what were they showing off? They were. I didn't uh, see. Four player. Four player. Yeah, battles, four which, four player battles. Yeah. Me, that sounds good, but nothing's gonna get me playing my 3DS. I don't <laughs> care about it. Um. Uh, they... Also on 3DS was Yokai Watch 2, Two, which seems good. I like the look of Yokai the yokai games because you know it's it's based on the yokai uh yokai myths and stuff so it looks good but again it's 3ds i don't care yeah um there was also the new ip for the 3ds called o ever oasis which is which it looks okay uh 
I still think it's probably their worst IP they've ever had. <laughs> yeah. It, it's not that bad, but I don't care. And it's 3DS as well. Um, they also <laughs> had... This was on 3DS, right? Yes. Box, box, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they showed it off at E3. I mean, it could have been showed off as like a quick little two-minute or five-minute gameplay, not like uh, 50. I... It should have been two seconds. Or a minute at least. No, a minute at most. <laughs> no, not even a minute. It doesn't deserve a minute. But you know how usually they have their like indie developer montage when yeah. they show off like five seconds each game. That I could I could accept. But fifteen minutes of box box boy. <laughs> box box boy. <laughs> It's not good. It's not working out. <laughs> I don't think anyone's favourite game at the show was Box Box Boy. Okay. The next but one also is... Also, Paper Mario has... Colour Splash. It's all take a moment of silence for it's... what's happened to Toad. It's got a mixed response, this. <laughs> it's got um, half and half, what I believe. They done... When I saw it last night, just the trailer yeah. on its own. It was at half and half the likes and dislikes. So uh, the quality's that, that good. That is actually mixed response. Unlike usually when people say mixed response, everyone hates it. Bliss. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Paper Mario, but um, the game it looks all right in my opinion. Some people says it's been ruined. But <laughs> I do. The, the problem is. The good thing about Paper Mario is it's got all the original Paper Mario characters, whereas this is just a paper version of Mario, Peach, Toad, oh. that sort of thing, awesome. where there's a paint bucket, that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm probably one of the people that's most positive about this game, and I still won't buy it. I don't... I think all the sales are going to be of people that are just going to buy it, they're not going to like it, but they're going to buy it anyway. Yeah, people will do that. Um, there's also um, Tokyo Mirage yep. Sessions, hashtag FE. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'd say the hashtag. Um, I, or I, deny I, Roku if you're on the not set, a Western I, I, I think I really, I think I would want to get this game. For, cause yeah, it does it look comes quite out good. really soon actually, it comes out next week. I think. I, uh, I think it's in a week. It comes out. I don't have the money at the moment, but as soon as I get the money, I'm going to buy it. I get it the looks money like next a fun week, game. actually, so I could buy it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a fun game. Won't get it at launch because I don't have any money, but maybe maybe one day. <laughs> I don't like the censorship though. S screw the West. <laughs> They're censoring everything. Screw region and, uh, lock, I want non-region lock so I can play the Japanese version. Or you're gonna spend three years of your life trying to learn the language. <laughs> just just so you can see the bikinis. <laughs> no. Whoa! I'm not going... Well, that's what they've censored anyway. Mm. I mean, to be honest, they want to... I mean, to be honest, stuff are different, like, you know, well, they allow this, but they won't allow that in the other country, like, other countries. So, uh, Rumbo Pocket, something? Rumbo Pocket, it wasn't shown off at the... It wasn't shown off at E3, but it was... It had an E3 trailer. Yeah. Why did they show off Box Box Boy instead of this? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly yes, don't... E even though Rumbo Pocket, people would still say, oh, why did they show off Rumbo Pocket? But it's better than showing off Box Box Boy. Anything is better than Box Box Boy. <laughs> box 15 minutes of silence. 15 minutes of please wait for the next game is better than Box Box Boy. 15 minutes of Mother 3 would have been so much better. Yeah, Run by Pocket looks good, but... 15 minutes I, of Smash I Brothers Melee believe... HD on the 3DS would have been much better. I, I just don't think platformers work on 3DS. I think you'll so get... I won't get it, but Runbo's a good game. I've got it on Wii U. Um, so should we move on to Microsoft? Microsoft. Um, okay. And a game I was really hyped for, even though it only showed off two seconds. Uh, Bloodstained. Bloodstained. Ritual of the Night. 
which is the new Castlevania, except it's not called Castlevania, much like Ukulele and Mighty Number, no. mm. <laughs> which we can't say anymore because yeah. it's just sad. But, um, you know, Ukulele and Bloodstained turning out really well. Bloodstained, uh, I, I really like Castlevania. Mm. Uh, e even the new ones, I, they're, they're not as good, but I even like them. But I, I backed this game for a hundred dollars and ten dollars for shipping for when it comes out, and yeah, so I'm I'm really excited. I hope we don't get Mighty Number no. Nine in this game, and I hope it looks good. I I feel I feel sorry for the people that back Mighty Number no. Nine. Um. But. They... I'm just praying the bloodstain look good. I can't wait. I can't wait till they give the demo though. It's gonna be great. Right. So the next thing is crossplay, which is where you can play certain Xbox One games on your Windows 10, but if you buy it on one device, you can play it on any dev like like Microsoft device, like the Windows 10 or an Xbox One, or even the Windows. Sounds good, but I don't have Windows 10 or Xbox One, so I only have Windows okay. 7 and an Xbox One, so I can't. <laughs> Screw Windows yeah. 10. Just, just, I don't want it. I'm happy I with don't it. think anyone's going to be making use of this crossplay feature. Um, there was also the new Xbox One S. Well, which is which the Xbox One looks, Slim. It looks like a Wii. Let's be honest. <laughs> they went from a black box to a Wii. Yeah, they they went from VCR to Wii. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I believe they said it's gonna... And it's smaller than the PS4 as well, I think. Or it's just the same size as the PS4. But I believe it's, so it's going much... to play... Uh, uh, 4K. Blu-rays in better definition. Uh, which 4K is and stuff. Oh, I think that's... It... 4K was Scorpio, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Project it's Scorpio. It's so confusing. They're calling one S, the other Scorpio. They both begin with the same thing. And they're both unnecessary. And Scorpio Lay didn't show off, but they said it's going to be the greatest console ever. To see the difference. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't care about either of these because I don't care about Xbox One. If I ever get an Xbox One, I, I'll probably get S so I can um benefit from <laughs> it not looking like a VCR player. I've got two VCR players already. Okay, I don't need another one. So I, if I ever get an Xbox One, yeah, Xbox One S, but I won't. So right. um, they showed off games like, uh, well, they didn't show off. I, I don't think they showed off Tekken Seven. They did. They showed off. They showed off one round of Tekken Seven. Tekken. Okay? Oh yeah. I swear I remember one round of Tekken Seven. They didn't do the whole match, just one round. But they round. they also showed off some um, new Killer Instinct gameplay of a character. Why are you skipping multiple of these? No. Can we do it in order. All right, all right. Well, so Tekken Seven, yeah, it looked alright, but it's coming to PS4 as well, so I'll just get it on there. Dead Rising Four. I like Dead the... Rising Four, exclusive to Xbox One and <laughs> PC again, <laughs> which. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, it's a bit sad. I like how I, I like how they've decided to go for the Christmas setting this time. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Bit weird, you know, but it's, it's summer. I was like sweating, and then I can't remember what song it was, but some Christmas song came out. Oh. I was like, no, this is no. This why? <laughs> <laughs> okay. They also had uh, Detroit. De Detroit. What's Detroit? It's on the list. What's Detroit? No, wait. Uh, wait, no, this is Sony's game. Oh, we're gonna move to that. <laughs> right. The next one is ha We Happy Few, and it looks like one of the most creepiest and most disturbing, disturbing games I've seen this year. No, yeah, I'm not. No, yeah, it looks alright. Looks weird though. <laughs> A bit where they have that piano, they start beating it, and then it's actually that a dead pit. <laughs> No, well, they start whacking it at the piano. Well, I can't pronounce it, but Pianta. Pianta. I can't pronounce it. Okay. Pianta. Oh, great. This could be worse than Chris. But anyway, um, yeah. Basically, it's a weird game. Like the bit where they beat it, and then it's actually like a dead pig, and they start eating out of it, and they're all happy and stuff. It's really creepy. And the fact that this takes place in London even creeps me out even more. Yeah. But it does look interesting, though. I would like. It looks to... good, but. It's you know, I don't have an Xbox One, so... And it's goddamn weird, but 
I would Shame, like to see it? where it goes, like what happens in the story. Anyway, what what was the thing you were trying to skip to earlier? Oh yes, Killer Instinct. There's um because of Gears of War 4, they've released two new characters, one from Battletoads and one from Gears of War 4. Which... The Battletoads character was ages ago. Oh. <laughs> but it was shown at E3. They're releasing, uh, I don't know the character's name, some Gears of War character, yeah, I don't I care. Killing Instinct does seem like a fun game, but it's Xbox, so I don't yeah. care. They also and announced the Minecraft friendly, friendly update, update, where there's loads of stuff I didn't pay attention to, um, but, but the part that caught my attention was Windows 10 players can play Windows. online with Xbox. iOS players and android players yeah which it's i don't play minecraft on any of those platforms but it's nice for them i doubt we're gonna see a version where we can play wii u xbox pc all together but yeah. it's, it's, it's plus we've got a banner mode coming out on console soon uh for minecraft <laughs> i don't battle. know who plays minecraft anymore i do what, every day? Well, not every day, just from time to time. Right, so, Sony, who... Spider-Man! Definitely Woo! won E3. I, I feel bad wanna... for, for people that bought Xbox One. You know, I want to be a the idiots, the idiots that bought Xbox One. <laughs> I want Spider-Man. Literally, it looks such a good game. I like how they decided... I was actually worried before E3. Mm. I was like, oh, I'm going to regret buying a PS4. I'm going to regret but buying a PS4. the Spider-Man they went for is the one but from then, the Marvel you know, Cinematic it's... Universe. And it looks absolutely fantastic. What did you say? Um, the, you know the Spider-Man they went for in the game, which is the one from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I thought it's it not... looked... I thought it was, but it looks good it's, though. It's clearly inspired by it, but it's not the same. I know. It's got a different it's costume. Got, it's voice, got like a Spider-Man thing on the, but it's not the same. on the body, like on the torso. But yeah, it's got a big white spider. Um, but it does look so amazingly it's not, good though. It's got a big white spider on his back as well. But um, he has the eye thing, which is... It is from the comics, but I'm guessing they only did it this time because the new films are doing it as well yeah so we've got it looks like mr negative is going to be the bad guy which is great because he's never been shown off in a film or anything like that before but it, it, it looks fun but the one bit that's worrying me is i saw an oscorp sign and i'm just sick of oscorp they, they can't they blame everything on them just like, can we can we have some different characters, please? Mm. Can we have different enemies? Which Miss Negative is going to be? Can we have Deadpool hopefully? as a cameo? <laughs> and it's voiced by Ryan um, Reynolds. Yeah, it, it, it looks like it's going to be a fun game. Uh, also, not at the show, but they confirmed story mode for Hatsune Miku Project Diva X, which... I want this game, please. <laughs> please buy for me. Yeah. Oh, I want this game. <laughs> um, but I yeah. guess most people probably don't care, but I like it. Uh, the Crash the Bandicoot is coming back with 1, 2, and 3 remastered. And also is going to be in Skylanders. Yay. Uh, 1, 2, and 3 remastered sounds... Yeah, it sounds good. But I haven't... I haven't got excited for it yet because they haven't shown any materials off. They haven't shown screenshots. They haven't shown even work in progress stuff of it. But um, it should be good. But there's no Crash Team Racing. Where's Crash Team Racing remastered? Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, they'll probably come out with some Crash Racing remastered. Uh. uh there was also another one. Uh, Detroit. Oh, no, slow down. Oh. Slow down. <laughs> Uh, Skylanders, I don't know about Skylanders. I mean, Skylanders, I mean, it was weird to see him in Skylanders, but hopefully they do something with him. Activision, you better take good care of him in this game. Yeah, it, it's clear that they're just doing this to uh, see how well uh, Crash Remastered. Uh. <laughs> they're doing it just to see how well it sells, to see if it's worth making a new Crash game. Yeah. I, I bet that's what they're doing. But, Detroit... Uh, it seemed quite cool. It's by the Heavy Rain people. 
and they're finally making another game that isn't uh, I think they were busy doing loads of PlayStation motion controller stuff and that's why they hadn't made a game in a while but now they're making a new game Detroit it looks kind of good but uh, I, I want to I want to see more of the game before I decide on an opinion mm -hmm. I think yeah I think it looks interesting to be honest something different so right. do you want to move on to Ubisoft Ubisoft so they started off with Just Dance 2015 which actually has no been... not 2015 what 2016 what, 2017 even you two years late what <laughs> kind of reading from a list and uh, got some grammar errors just cause here that, it's just because that's the last time I cared about Just Dance but... was in 2014 <laughs> so now right. I might just start there yeah. so I basically they made some right. more games since so... then um, it's been confirmed that it'll be coming on to the NX. Yeah, NX, which is interesting because that means there's going to be a way of motion controls. So it could be uh, like the Wii where it's heavily motion control based, or it could be like Kinect or PlayStation Move where it's just an add-on, which is what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping that NX is going to be, where it's not motion controls, but you can have a little bit on the side if that's what you like. Um, yeah. Uh, there was also Watch Dogs 2. Watch Dogs 2, yeah. I, I, mean, I like this game, but they've lied to us before. Yeah, and, I, and it can be I bad. Don't trust them. I don't trust I wasn't them interested in Watch Dogs, and I, I don't know why, I just don't really feel interested in this one either, even though it's um, taken the focus on, a, on the hackers this time. Mm. Right. I just can't trust them with this because of the of Watch Dogs 1. The one game I am excited for from Ubisoft though is South yeah, Park, The Fractured Butthole. Whoa. The what? Fractured but Wait, yeah, wait. <laughs> Don't be rude, now we've got to hate your this video. <laughs> Captain America, the fractured butthole. <laughs> yeah, I um I liked it. They showed it off for fifteen minutes, which to be honest, it, it fit the game unlike yeah. the other games where and they think, showed it off. And I think they're still going on the RPG setting but with the superhero theme. Like it's yeah, sticking... the superhero theme so it's gonna be sort of like uh, season 13 had the coon, season 14 had a coon and friends arc and I bet this is going to be uh, I bet with season 20 I believe South Park's on now Yeah. Uh, I bet they're going to tie it into that because it comes out December 6th and the finale of season 20 is on December 7th so I bet at the end of season 20 they're going to have some sort of reference to the game yeah, like they're all, or they, they might have another trilogy the like the street, um, Black Friday trilogy that led up to the Stick yeah, of Truth. Yeah, which led up to Stick of Truth. So in season seventeen. Yeah. I yeah. So it looks good. I like South Park. I'm um, definitely like pre-ordering it. <laughs> um, it's funny. Yeah, I like South Park. The next game is Steep. I oh. believe that's what it's called. That was from my memory, so it might yeah. be wrong. But it's that sports game that nobody cares about. Oh, it's that yeah, ski like snowboarding skiing game. Yeah. It. I thought it was, was it, snow was it or something. I thought it was the game Snow, which is like um, a like open world skiing or snowboard. Yeah, open world SSX. Yeah, which is free on PC by the way. You can download now on Steam. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. I don't know who buys these sports games. People who keep who want to keep I, playing. I know, I know people who buy FIFA, and that you know, I, I'm not a fan of FIFA, but I know that people buy these games. I've never seen anyone go out and buy SSX, and I doubt I'm going to see anyone saying, like when I go to game shops, I, I'm not going to see anyone saying, oh, can I pre-order Steep, please? It got me very hyped this year, like that. That I bet the employees will just look at the guy like you don't want to pre-order that game. Yeah, like 
<laughs> the the bottom of the barrel of E3 was just box box boy and steep. All right. Well, I'll I'll give steep that. It looks better than box box boy. <laughs> box box boy. Um. All right. So other things. There was the ukulele. I just remembered something we missed for VR. What? <gasps> we'll put this into the other section. Okay. I've forgotten what it's called. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> Infinite oh, Warfare. North America VR, that's what it's called. Oh. Did, did you see the did you see the video I linked you? Um Oh was it, wait, hang on. Oh hang on, I think I know. Yes, we tried. Did you watch it? No, no I don't I Oh you should watch it. It's, it's... It doesn't it doesn't show the gameplay, don't worry. Oh, yeah, but there's some Do you wanna talk about it? There's some <laughs> naughty <laughs> VR. Which if it, it's, I was doing research. It freaks me out. To be honest, it's probably weirder than We Happy Few. It's because um if if you watch uh, Eurogamer's video, yeah, he's um you you can't see the stuff because obviously you aren't allowed to put that on YouTube. Unless but... it's age restricted. Actually, no. No, you're still not allowed. Yeah, no. still not allowed. It says. Even though there are loads of videos on YouTube, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, he he's sort of describing what he's seeing. And I don't want to say it because I don't want to take views away from him. So go go watch Eurogamer's video. Yeah. But some of that stuff, it's just... I don't want to be seeing that. I don't want to be seeing that normally. I definitely don't want to see it in virtual reality <laughs> oh boy all right yeah, so yeah. uh what else there was ukulele which was shown a few days before e3 yeah and e3 trailer and there was also an e3 interview with ign which showed off a tiny bit more gameplay which looks really good i think it looks like a really good platformer it looks it looks really fun i think bloodstone looks a bit better but oh <laughs> it it, look, it looks fun. I'm I'm probably gonna buy it. When's it come out? Uh, it comes out 2017. It comes out uh in the first quarter of 2017. Oh, so it's gonna come out the same roughly same time as Bloodstained, unless <laughs> Bloodstained gets. Um, <laughs> oh my! Unless it gets delayed, which, seeing as the other two have been delayed, maybe it will. <laughs> <laughs> I I just uh, hope Ukulele and Bloodstained are successes because. Even though I love Mega Man, I knew from the start Mighty Number no. Nine was get, gonna sort of fail. Nobody believed me actually. Like they showed off their first trailer, I said, I said to people, something is wrong with this game. People said, no, it looks fine. It looks fine. Now everyone's with me. Now everyone hates it. <laughs> but so far, Ukulele and Bloodstain have looked good. I just, I just hope they don't fail. Yeah, um, I, I didn't back ukulele, but I really wanted to, and I'm gonna buy it I'm when gonna it buy comes it. out. Show my support. Buy it, probably release date. Same. Um, there was also Dante, a half G hero, hero, which I didn't it's, see. But... Oh, you didn't see it? Well, it's sort of like the other Shantae. I've heard games, it's alright. Announced it's going to be coming to physical as well. Yeah. So you can get it on disc if you want it. Yeah. And that's cool. I'll I'll probably get that. But I heard it's alright, I heard it's quite good. Yeah. I heard it gives you a virus. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't give you a virus, don't worry, no. Edit that out. Cause no, I wonder if that um, hacker of uh, the guy who at E3 was trying to dump the Zelda demo onto the SD cards. If he... I don't know what, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> if, they, if he did that, I would kind of <laughs> congratulate him. And pay on no, because I've I've never been to E3, but I've been to other conventions, and they always have, they have the uh, consoles protected in my like, case. So yeah. So I was like, how did the guy? <laughs> yeah. So we move on to, um, Quake, Quake. Champions, I believe the new one's called. Yeah. I thought at first, yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm super excited. <laughs> I like Quake, but then I remembered what happened with Doom. Oh yeah. I mean, it could be good, good, it could be bad. Looks good, but Doom Online, everyone's playing it like it's Call of Duty. 
So all the kids online are going to be playing Quake. All the like little kids. Duty. All the little five-year-olds. Yeah, all, all the kids are going to be playing like Call of Duty. Yeah. And also it's PC exclusive, which is confusing. I know the past Quakes have been PC games. They've always been but PC. But Doom came to consoles as well, so yeah. why why, where's Qu why is Quake not there? True, true. You know, you know what? So, <laughs> what? what came out and got us both super excited? Which we didn't expect at all. Uh, Echo Dimensions. Oh later. yes, which is some we both Rich. still have. To be honest, brought. Sonic was leaked before. Uh, apparently, Gizmo was leaked as well. Gizmo but I didn't was hear leaked. About that. E.T. was leaked. But um, the only thing I heard that was leaked was Sonic. But um, was like, oh, that's BS. Year Two looks amazing. We've got Harry Potter. We've got um, um female Ghostbusters. What's, what's the Harry Potter spin-off called? Uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. At the yeah. end, of, uh, we have Teen yeah, Titans. We have Goonies in it. Goonies is in it. Gremlins is in it, which I love. You can have um, Gizmo and also Stripe, who wasn't in the trailer, but he is going to be in the game. I, I was a big naysayer to Lego Dimension just because of the price. Like I love Disney Infinity, but Lego Dimensions is just a tiny figure. That's still. I'm still a little hesitant on this game, but I'm still going to buy it because I. I, I really want to buy Lego Dimensions now. Like, I'm really tempted. Yeah, and honestly, the female Ghostbusters, even though the movie looks awful, Esh. I'm actually excited for the uh, Lego Ghostbusters because they're not doing a new game for Lego Dimensions. So what they're doing instead of a new story mode, they're doing a new pretty much Lego Ghostbusters, but putting it in Lego Dimensions. Yeah, so people... So it's a campaign of Ghostbusters. Yeah, because... Yeah. But it's going to be based on a few of Ghostbusters, so that's a little we... bit awkward, but you can play as anyone. Yeah. So if you want, you can play as the, <laughs> the original classic. Ghostbusters. The classic, yeah, the original. If right. you want, you can play as Gizmo. You can play as uh, I whatever, can... the third Doctor. Whoever you want. I can play as Batman. Play Deal with this. Massive. Um, play Scooby Doo, pretend it's Scooby Doo. Yeah. Mission Impossible. Yeah. <sighs> I like I I did think Ghostbusters shouldn't have gotten it, but you know, it's good. Eh, it's alright. Mission Impossible would be really fun in Lego yeah. if they did a whole um, if what, they did a story based on that. What I found funny was in the trailer in the E three trailer when the um the witch from like Wizard of Oz is like, Oh no, water and it's like, yeah. Oh water and like, you know, when you <laughs> see the water spirit it's like, Well that's a million mogwais we're gonna be seeing in the game, everyone Yeah, look <laughs> a bit that scares me is that they've announced like Gizmo special special move, he turns into a gremlin. I don't wanna see him turning into a gremlin. No, he can't turn into a gremlin. He's a good he's a good mogwai. <laughs> He can't, okay? Anyway, maybe, yeah. It, maybe he I'm turns just... into Stripe, I don't know. Actually, no, I hope not. I hope he doesn't. Uh, stri into... Stripe is a uh, separate character. Ah, okay. Right. Yeah. So... Personally, I think Mission Impossible and Gremlins should have gotten the story. Uh, I don't know if that would sell, though, so I, I can see why they did go to Um, but yeah. Friday the 13th. This is a game you're this, really... This is Friday my one weekend. of my most anticipated games of this year, which is coming this fall. Is, as is I it this year? Yes, yeah, this year. I thought it was going to be next year. Oh, okay. Uh, it's coming out on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Steam. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You better get your PS4 and then buy it on PS4, okay? I'm you better gonna... get a PS4. <laughs> I might buy it on all three uh, devices, so I can play it on PC and mod it out. <laughs> Um, yeah, like I'm someone better release a mod for this where the, you play, where you the, play as, uh, well, it's just based on Halloween in general. I'm going to say it looks Halloween good. Films. It looks good. Like, the um, the style of how you play Jason, you hear, you know, Jason's mother telling you, he's like, punish them. And it's like, oh, yeah. okay. And then uh, the way you can hide, and as a counselor, you can hide and, like, hide in separate areas. You can turn on the music, hide and wait, Jason. What I thought the counselor should have done if I was a counselor, I was like, I would just watch him just go do the music, whack the stuff, get out of bed and run. That's what yeah, I do. I, I don't know what. I would have I done that. Or actually, no, in fact, the window was open. Like, there was a window open where he could have climbed out. Did you like his stare? Did you like his stare? Yeah, his it's stare like. The window. 
Yeah, he's just like... Who's, who's going to be more fun to play as? I don't know. I mean, Jason looks fun to play as, but then it's going to be... looks fun to play as. It looks scary I, to I play as well. If you're playing as a counselor, it can be really scary. Like, yeah. I how, can... is, how many players is it? Uh, It's like eight. Like seven counselors and then one Jason. Yeah. It's working with all the other counselors should be fun, as well as just trying to kill them all would be fun. So... Yeah. I don't I don't think it's going to be that fun playing with random people, but if you can get a group of however many people to play it, then it should be a good experience. Yeah. There's also uh, Injustice, Gods Among Us 2, two. which was leaked, and then yeah. was announced the next day. <laughs> and it's... Uh, eh, it's well, actually, right. it was leaked. It was rumoured, and then it was leaked, and then it was announced the next day. Yeah, next day. And... It looks good. Don't don't know what else to say really. Yeah. Hope they uh, get a lot more characters in. That's all we know. <laughs> the floor the floor of injustice was there weren't enough characters. There weren't enough alternate skins. Yeah. And there weren't enough maps. It was a fun game with not but without enough content. So I hope there's more content in this. Okay. Uh, the next game, which is another anticipated game of mine, because basically it's what of Call of Duty, it's what Call of Duty should have done. Battlefield One. The yeah, game, looked, um, the multiplayer gameplay fun. I got to see looked absolutely flipping brilliant. Snoop Dogg playing it. Um, I don't know, but I um, it was I'm it looked sure really they were good. Doing live stream of it, and Snoop Dogg was playing. The thing it, is, the, while smoking. The thing is, the only thing I'm worried about is because it's EA. I'm worried that they might somehow mess it up, like glitch it up or something, like a, like Battlefield 4 at launch. But if they don't do that, then it could be one of the best yeah, games just, this year. Just it like a month after it comes out, and it should be good. Yeah. Um. It. Oh, we thought I didn't list Infinite Warfare in this, so let's talk about that. Oh, now. Infinite Warfare. Uh, hang on. Warfare to be honest, everyone hates it, but I think. It <sighs> So, I... Looks alright. I mean, if it was not Call of Duty, it would have looked like a good space game. Like look, like yeah. So I'm just, I'm just like a new not, title just... would have gone with it. There's, zom there's zombies in it. Uh, no, but yeah. If they said it's not gonna be, or has it just not been announced? I, uh, I don't think, I don't know. But like the we when they showed space gameplay, I want space of it, they didn't show the title, so it looked like a completely different game. And then when the title yeah, showed up. Like... Uh, people... What is it, Eve Valkyrie, which um, it started off looking at that, so I, and because it was just after the VR stuff, yeah. Eve Valkyrie is confirmed for PSVR, so I thought it was that, because it looked exactly like it, and then they got out, I was like, what's this? <sighs> oh wait, Call of Duty, I And forgot. I was just like, oh dear, it doesn't even look like it anymore. It was, but but... I, I like, I like that it's different, because every... I don't think it's the different they should have went with. On the internet thing. Everyone complains, it's the same, it's the same. They change it. It's different. It's different. To be honest, same with I Civil want to, War I just want out. them to keep it at some like Modern Warfare or just mo like like World War Two, World War One setting because I think it's. <laughs> but then, do you remember when Civil War came out? Before everyone was saying superhero movies are all the same. Superhero movies are all the same. No. I'm, I hate them. They're all the same. And then Civil War came out. I hate it. It was different. It was different to the other ones. I hate it. Just. <laughs> Right. In, I hate the internet. Um, there was a game which um you kind of forgot to put on the list, uh, which was Titanfall 2. This I didn't forget it, I just didn't care. <laughs> I'm, I looked at it, and I thought, this could be good. This could be probably better than the first. Like, this could ha yeah, improve but... the first. Like, improve the, problem, uh, improve the problems it had with the first game. To be honest, that's really all I've got, all, got to say. Apart from so... the Titan Stalk and stuff. Walking Dead 3. Walking what? Dead Season 3. Hmm, okay. I mean, I... Did you see the trailer? I didn't, but I... Oh. I, I mean... It doesn't show off much. Uh, Clementine is a teenager this time. Oh. She... Her age hasn't been confirmed. Yeah. But I'd say she's 14 or 15. 15. Somewhere around, probably. Just, just from what she looks like. Which, I don't know, there's a new character who she's with. And I'm gonna call it now. He's a bad guy. She thinks he's good. Turns out he's a bad guy. And he's an I'm asshole. calling it right now. I don't even know anything about him. He's an asshole. He's <laughs> All right. And yeah, it, I don't know. Just after. 
I've I've played the first episode in season one and started episode two. Yeah, I, I completed uh, season one, whatever it was, however many days, what they called it. What what did they call it? Was it three hundred days, two hundred days, four hundred yeah. days? Yeah. Whatever so... it was. I played that all the way through. Played season one all the way through. Played season season two all the way through, but. Episode 5 just kept glitching out for me, so I never got to complete that. That just turned me off. I uninstalled it like three times, tried to reinstall it, but it mm. wouldn't work. So, I don't know if I'm going to get this just because I never completed Season 2. I, I can't trust them after that. Okay, so... And last... Attack on Titan, which looks... I don't know, I don't care. I don't mm. like Shingeki no Grojin anyway. Mm. <laughs> That's like... The, the three sort of like what's what's going on here is is number three attack on titan number two steep number one box box boy all right yeah <laughs> we should do that top top five what's going on here moments at e3 <laughs> yeah uh so but what wasn't there uh ps4 neo wasn't there PS4 confirmed a real thing, PS4 Neo? I think it has, but it's... People are acting like it's been confirmed. Like, the 4K really thing is a, like an actual thing, like it's been confirmed, but it won't be at E3. That, well, it wasn't at E3 this year, and they said it won't be. I, I don't like it. I don't like this thing where I haven't even had my PS4 a year yet, and they're already, it's already outdated. <laughs> but I'm not a fan. Right. And pe people say, yeah, Nintendo does it with the new 3DS. I hated that as well. Oh, for God's so, sake. So it's like, just enjoy what you've been given. Just appreciate it. Actually, yeah. there's one more thing I want to say, actually, which I kind of forgot to mention about. Is FIFA 17's story mode. Oh, yeah, FIFA 17's story mode. I think it looks alright. I think Still it looks inter I think it looks alright, actually. Like, it's a new take on FIFA. Trailer? Like, it Huh? Did you look in the comments of the trailer? No, I haven't. I looked in the comments. I don't know if it was IGN's video of it, but it was just a video of the trailer. And you know how all you play as a black guy? Yes. Oh, boy. There were comments saying, this political correctness gone mad. Why do we have to play as a black guy? It's, it's not political correctness. It just happens to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. But the internet sucks. <laughs> to be honest, the internet's a piece of shit, but you're going to have to live through it. <laughs> it sucks with all this. But you're just gonna have to live for it. People complaining. Oh, King Floss, get well into the news. Um. Yeah. Also, again, Mother Three wasn't there. <laughs> Rip your hopes and dreams. People tell me uh, says it will be never released worldwide. Shut your mouth. It will okay? be one day. Keep that mouth of ne negativity shut. Okay. It will be one day, but I don't know. It w when. no, it definitely will because if they're gonna bring Mother One worldwide like last year, like all of a sudden, because I thought, hey, why not? I mean, we just officially translated it years, years ago, and we never really got to release it because of money stuff. Why not release it right now? And they did also, that. The the game. That I'm also annoyed they didn't show up. Poku, no hero, Academia, Battle for Earth which came out a month ago in Japan which isn't the same as 10 years I know yeah. but they also showed off game Mario Party didn't they it's for the 3DS Mother Mother 3 right there's loads of text they've got to translate this they've only got to translate like the menu because it's a fighting game there's not going to be that much dialogue in it I doubt but just translate the name from kanji or whatever they write it in into English. That's all it takes. Just give me this game. Anime is amazing. You need to watch it. And um, yeah, you should watch it. Yeah. And there was also Mario Pie on the 3DS. Yeah, but we skipped that. Yeah, Just we like sk we're gonna skip buying it. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what Nintendo is playing out this year. Box Box Boy. Box Box Boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's because that's uh, become a meme now, Box Box Boy. I, I want to fire Bill so hard right now. <laughs> right. Should we just end it there? Just yeah. Uh, um, want to fire E3 Bill. overall was good. 
There were some bad things, but there were more good things than there were bad things. There were some bad, bad boys. <laughs> no, in my head that sounded good, but when it left my mouth, it didn't sound good. <laughs> oh boy! But I hope you enjoyed this E3. I hope you enjoyed this E R E E three thoughts for this year, and hopefully, it's it's gonna hopefully be good next year for E three twenty seventeen. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo. I hope you learn from your mistakes, and uh, next year do a. 24 hour conference uh, just on Boku no Hero Academia Battle for Earth. Thank you. A month for free. <laughs> just imagine that 24 hours of Box Box Boy. Uh. <laughs> it's a charity live stream of Box Box Boy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Have you enjoyed it? We'll see you guys later. Bye. Don't to pre order Box Box Boy. Boy, boy, boy. Bye bye. Box Boss Boy.